Flawless is a short third person puzzle walking simulator game about mental abuse and how it can feel to have that abuse thrown onto you. It's a free game on Steam that only 8 people have reviewed while also having no other information about it online besides the page itself with tags such as philosophical, drama, emotional, puzzle, and linear. So there's no real info on the actual person who made the game, just the art that he made. All we know is that it was made by a person named Bo, who is credited as both the developer and publisher. And this seems to be his first public work on Steam. Once we start the game, the cursor is customized like it's a hand holding something. I can't tell what though. Looking at the main character, this kid has half a head and could be a mascot for half and half. The atmosphere is very bleak. All you can hear is a constant beeping noise and some distant voices in this world of a white void with no voice acting, just text boxes. While walking sad with his head down as to personify his environment, he opens the door transitioning to a game of Tetris. Now this is a common theme throughout the game and I honestly wondered why? Personally, I think it was because it's arguably the most popular puzzle game around, and so it's easily recognizable as a puzzle no matter what language you speak. Plus, everyone knows how to play Tetris, so it's an extremely easy learning curve. At least, so it seems. After the first puzzle, while opening the door, an alarm clock blares, and you wake up. The silence broken by your own dialogue feels eerie, and everything still looks the same, so something doesn't feel right. All of a sudden, your room is destroyed with an unknown force, and while trying to escape through the bedroom door, you hear your mom yelling, and then more of the wall falls revealing another puzzle, the angry messages yell at you while you try to solve the puzzle, and the calendar is another puzzle with a choir of children chanting that is actually connected to the other puzzle, but because you messed up the puzzle, you have no choice but to throw yourself into the ocean of despair. And restart the game. See, these puzzles connect, and you need the exact right pieces and timing, otherwise you gotta restart the puzzle. Once you finally get out of the puzzle loop, you find another door, transporting you to a stage, where you play piano by trying to get the correct notes while your mom screams at you, so you need to get it exactly right. But even with a perfect score, the mom isn't happy, and neither is the audience, which shows that even if the main character is doing his best, it's never enough to satisfy his parents' wishes at least from his own perspective. All of a sudden, everything becomes vaporwave, and now the dad is yelling at the son, saying no to everything he tries to do. Eventually, you are literally crushed under the weight of your parents' expectations by being boxed in. And then, you start floating up. And then it crashed. There's no save states for some weird reason, which means I had to do the whole game over again. This also gave me a second look at all that has happened so far. In the painting, the father has a cube head and the mother has a circle head, leading to the realization that this is a diverse family. Lastly, your character cannot sprint or jump, only slouch walk, which is fine because games like these aren't meant to be speedrun, rather appreciate it for the art that it is. In the final moments of the game, the perspective changes with words on the screen reading, I'm awake? But what happened? The 7.8 magnitude earthquake caused 242,769 fatalities and 164,851 serious injuries. This is referencing the Tan Shang earthquake in 1976, a significant one that happened in China decades ago, where most of the buildings collapsed and many lives were taken. 1976 was also an impactful year for China due to not only the death of a former Chinese leader, but it was around the same time as the one child policy, so tension was pretty high back then. The more I thought about this being in the game, the more important it seemed. This contrast between the nightmares of the kid versus the reality in which he was living in really showed the true nightmare of that reality. Both are valid experiences, sure, but both can be scary depending on your living situation. After this explosion happens, you crawl through the rubble in first person, leaving your parents behind. Although they look nothing like the picture, even though the picture was in the nightmare. You then start floating up while the credits roll. I wanted to escape the stage you left behind Take a look through paradise So many times it's stubbornly stuck in my memory It's a sign of my destiny But a wind blows through your wine Here while 
the heart beats Things such a mess of you makes me hate to hear Tick tock 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 Please make time to stop Please make time to stop. And then it closes. This game was made by Thomas Wang, which there's no real info on the actual person who made this game, just the art that Thomas made. However, what we do get is a Steam description. Flawless is a third person puzzle adventure game about a nightmare a schoolboy dreamed about, corresponding to the process of encountering, getting along, resisting, and reconciling between the boy and his parents. I hope that players can learn why a lot of children in the process of growing up want to ask their parents the phrase, do I need to be perfect to be worthy of your love? during playing the game. The development of this game was entirely done by Thomas Wang, thanks to his parents for their sponsorship of the development process and to everyone involved in its development. It's nice to know that his actual parents supported his work, and that this piece of art isn't about real-life parental experiences, but rather the contrast between fiction and reality. It's about mentally abusive parents who either push the main character to do things he doesn't want to do, or not letting him do the things he actually wants to do in life. Or at least, it's from the main character's perspective, because we never really get to see the parents except for a picture in the bedroom. The sea of endless words, the multiple puzzles where it tries to stack the odds against you quite literally, the parents being personified as these angry texts on screen which truly shows that this is what the main character sees the parents as, nothing except harsh realities. Luckily for me, I was put in a position where my parents weren't like this, but not everyone sadly has that luxury. This game feels like a call for help, and if you feel like you're in a similar situation, please don't be afraid to get help, whether it be through a trusted friend or even getting help professionally like a therapist. While not everyone can afford these, there is always a way to get help. So if you feel at all like Thomas, please. Never be afraid to get help if you so need it. Normally, I would end it on a witty last remark, but honestly, I just feel like that needed to be said. Because, well, to some, this is real life. And the fact that Thomas was able to be honest with his art really speaks volumes. That we don't need to be flawless, to be accepted by the ones we love. I wanted to escape the stage you left behind Take a look through paradise So many times it's stubbornly stuck in my memory It's a sign of my destiny But a wind blow through your wide Here while the heart beats